crease in the in the skin when when the robot smiles that was really difficult and those creases in the brow as well so we ended up having to add various sort of fibers and parts that would tension the, the skin inside what if robots could smile just like us think of a world where robots don't just mimic our actions but actually mirror our emotions this isn't a scene from a movie no it's a reality that's closer than you might think Look at the soft pink blob that looks at you with an almost lifelike reality. It's both thrilling and unsettling, it pulls its face into a charming smile. This is the peak of robotics research, courtesy of a team of innovative scientists in Japan. Led by the visionary Professor Shoji Takuchi from the Institute of Industrial Science at the University of Tokyo, these researchers have achieved a breakthrough that could redefine our relationship with robots. Professor Takeuchi's team has been at the forefront of developing Living Robot Skin, a bioengineering marvel that uses collagen, a key protein found in human skin and human dermal fibroblasts, cells that give our skin its elasticity and strength. By applying this living skin to a robotic finger, they've created a digit that can bend and move that's never been seen before in the world of robotics. Does this mean that one day we could have robots that not only look like us, but also react like us? Imagine looking into the eyes of a robot and feeling like it's truly looking back at you. Not with the cold stare of a machine, but with a gaze that seems to understand, to empathize. That's the kind of magic Professor Shoji Takuchi and his team managed to make in their labs. By crafting anchors from collagen gel and securing them into V-shaped holes on the robot's surface, they've hit upon a technique that promises a seamless bond between living skin and the robot. Takeuchi describes their breakthrough as a game changer, a step closer to robotics that don't just imitate life but represent it. But Takeuchi isn't the only one on this quest to humanize our mechanical friends. A mecha is the robot, often called the world's most advanced humanoid. It isn't just a pretty face, it's proof of the power of artificial intelligence. This robot can hold a conversation, responding to your words and your mood with an eerie realism. And who's the mastermind behind this AI marvel? Will Jackson the founder and CEO of Engineered Arts Limited. He points to Emeka's eyes as a key to a lifelike demeanor. Those eyes capable of expressing a range of emotions are just one of the many ways that Emeka is challenging our preconceptions of what robots can be. Will Jackson believes that eyes aren't just for seeing, they're the gateway to understanding. Eyes are the windows to the soul, he told the media, emphasizing how important eye contact is in reading each other's emotions. While millions of industrial robots are hard at work in sectors like automotive and electronics, humanoids like Emeka, along with Sophia and Grace from Hanson Robotics, are gearing up for a different kind of job. They're designed to step into people facing roles from hospitality and healthcare to education. However, there's a catch. Currently, their facial expressions lack the fluidity that we're used to in humans, creating what's known as the uncanny valley a term for things that are almost human-like but not quite there, making some people uneasy. Professor Takeuchi, on the other hand, sees this as an opportunity. He believes that by enhancing robots' ability to make realistic facial expressions, we can significantly improve their communication and interaction with humans. This isn't just about making robots look better, it's about making them more effective partners in tasks that require empathy and emotional connection. Healthcare is a prime example of where this could make a world of difference, impacting patients' care in profound ways. Can robots really reach into the human domain of emotions and empathy? Are we ready to accept them not just as tools, but as being capable of understanding and responding to our feelings? Yifan Wang, an assistant professor at Nanyang Technological University, Singapore, is one of the pioneers leading the charge working with robots. Wang, who specializes in soft robots that mimic biological creatures, is excited about the latest research published in the journal, Self Reports Physical Science. Wang points out that our skin, the body's largest organ, is a marvel of sensory perception. It lets us feel temperature, humidity, and the textures of the world around us. This kind of feature in biological systems is currently, with artificial robots, still very difficult to achieve, he added. This is when the University of Tokyo's groundbreaking research came to the picture, which Wang describes as a hybrid solution that bridges the gap between soft and traditional robotics. It's a fascinating development that could solve one of the biggest challenges in robot design, how to attach skin-like materials, often made of silicon, to a robot's body without it falling off or breaking. 
The new method promises an easy integration connecting something soft on a rigid surface. But for Wang, the real game changer lies in the potential for enhancing robot sensing capabilities. You see, our skin's equipped with an array of delicate high density sensors that synthetic materials struggle to replicate. By using biological skin on robots, we could achieve a level of sensory perception that's currently out of reach. Takeuchi and his team are already looking ahead, aiming to attach their robotic skin with more sensory functions, making it more reactive to the environment. But there's a catch. Maintaining the quality and consistency of living skin is no small feat. That's why part of their research is focused on creating a vascular system for the robotic skin, a network of vessels and veins that would supply the necessary nutrients to keep the skin healthy and hydrated. This could significantly enhance the skin's durability and longevity. Wang acknowledges that engineering such a system will be a monumental task, but if successful, it could give humanoid robots the ability to look, feel, and perhaps even sense the world as humans do. You might be thinking, why would anyone use living tissue to make something like this in the first place? Well, Takeuchi has an answer for that too. He shared why living tissue is a game changer compared to traditional materials like metals and plastics. Living tissue isn't only as energy efficient as our brains and muscles, but can also repair itself, unlike synthetic materials. But that's just the beginning. Looking ahead, these researchers have big plans. They want to make the lab-grown skin even more lifelike by adding a circulatory system. This could revolutionize testing for cosmetics and medications, making it safer and more accurate. Plus, it could give robots a more realistic and functional covering. However, there's another challenge, the creepiness factor. People often find life like robots unsettling. The journey isn't without its hurdles, but each step forward brings us closer to a future where robots and humans can coexist in even more meaningful ways. And this living skin? It's just the beginning. The next steps involve making it thicker, adding wrinkles, sweat glands and more. Can you imagine a robot that can feel? The possibilities are absolutely fascinating. The pink blob that you've seen is just the 2D model. The team's also created a 3D model with a more human-like head shape. The next big challenge? Making the skin thicker and more realistic by adding features like wrinkles. We believe that creating thicker and more realistic skin can be achieved by incorporating sweat glands, sebaceous glands, pores, blood vessels, fat and nerves. Takeuchi said. Movement is also important, so another important challenge is creating expressions by integrating sophisticated actuators or muscles inside the robot. So what's next for these human-like robots? Medical research, drug development, skin aging studies, and even plastic surgeon training. What do you think? Let us know in the comments section below. Hit the like button and subscribe for more engaging content. See you in the next one.